not only was you born, but you got up with all power in your hand. And we're so grateful for that on today. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all put your hands together. Amen. I want to take time and thank God for everyone in the room. Hallelujah. Come on, give yourself a hand of praise. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank God for you all being here on today. Thank God for our pastor. Come on, give our, the Lord a hand for our pastor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I won't be before you alone. Amen. We're going to hit this thing right quick and so we can um, get our babies together. Amen. But anyway, um, for a theme, amen, our subject, it will, it will be, he was born. Now, some people would argue with you and say, well, you know, how do you really know that he was born? Um, it's just a fairy tale that he was born, but he really was born. He really was born. And we're going to go to the scripture, amen. I think it's coming, yeah, coming out of Luke, Luke, the second chapter. And you had to be in Sunday school to get a lot of this here. We thank God for this time that we're celebrating Jesus Christ. Glory to the God. Hallelujah. And the scripture says in the book of Luke, amen. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him or them in the room. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field. Keep him watch over the flock by night. Amen. Well, I guess I'll read my paper. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, upon the shepherds. And the glory of the Lord shone round, round about them. And they was afraid. When angels would show up, people would be afraid. And the angel said unto them, fear not, don't be afraid, for behold, a look, I bring you good tidings, good news, good tidings of great joy, which should be to all people. This joy or this good tidings I'm bringing is for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. Somebody said a Savior. Which is Christ the Lord. Now, if you run over to Matthew, the first chapter, and about the 21st verse, the Lord speaks to Joseph and says, And she shall bring forth a son. It's the Lord, an angel speaking to Joseph and says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sins. Hallelujah. He was born. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All the way back about 700 years before Jesus came, it was prophesied that he would come. 700 years before the cradle rock, before the stars was uh, shining in the sky, before the wise man gave this gift, before the angels sung their songs, Isaiah, he dipped, amen, his, prof his prophetic pen into the uh, inspired ink and wrote what has become the centerpiece. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Let me go back to that. For unto us a child is born. And we know that in the scriptures, um, John, I think about the first chapter, um, John, it said, and he dwelled, and he came in the flesh, and he dwelled among man. He came, and somebody said he came in the flesh. We read earlier in the book of Luke, amen, how, amen, she gave birth, Mary gave birth to this baby in the end because there was no other room, there was no hotel, amen, or well, not even in the end, in, in, uh, in the manger, amen, they laid, they laid that baby in that, um, in that um, manger, though, no, in that cradle, in that trough, where the horses and the cow eat from, they laid him there. But they laid him there for us. Somebody said they laid him there for me. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. And then Isaiah says, for unto us a child is born. He came in the flesh. And he said, unto us a son is given. Not only did he come in the flesh, amen, but he came as a son of man. For unto us a child is born. This speak of the humanity of Jesus Everything that we would ever go through, Jesus been through it. We serve not a high priest that can't be touched with the infilling of our infirmity. If you're going through it, Jesus already been through it. 
He did it for us. He was our perfect example. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's the humanity part of Jesus Christ. Jesus was born the son of man. Jesus was born. Hey, he had an earthly mother. He had an earthly mother. Some people deny that Mary even carried Jesus. But it's okay if you deny it because guess what? It's still true. One scripture says in the book of Romans, said, let God be truth in every man that don't believe it, a liar. Anybody believe the word of the Lord. Jesus was born of an earthly mother. Put on, he put on flesh. He lived 33 years on this earth as a human being. But the Bible, if you run over to John, the first, cha the first chapter of Jane, it, uh, John, it said, in the beginning was the, was the word. And the word was God. And the word was with God. Jesus was always in the beginning. He was always. Somebody say he was always. But man needed a savior. And nobody could redeem us but Jesus Christ. He was the only sinless lamb. Everybody else was born into sin. Somebody said, how did we get there? Go all the way back to the book of Genesis. And see what the first Adam, Adam messed up. We needed a second Adam. Somebody said, well, you know, if it was left up to me sending Jesus, I would have just sent him straight from heaven in royalty, and I would have just sent him to heaven, and I would allow him to go to the cross and been finished. But God said, not so. I want my son to walk this earth so you have no excuse. And said, I can't make it. Because, he, again, he was that perfect example. Somebody said he was that perfect example. He lived on this earth for 33 years as a human being. But even though he was human, he was yet God. Somebody said he was yet God. Amen. As I said, the word said, the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld the glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Isaiah speaks again. He said, he was, he, he, for until a child is born, a son is given. What a blessing. The son is given, it speaks of the deity of God. The deity of Jesus. I told you he was human, but he was God too. And people would say, well, he was Jesus. He could do everything, but he was man too. He showed us how man can do this thing. But we can never do it without him. Somebody said not without him. We can only do it in him. Somebody said in him. As a child, he's the son of man. As a son, he's the son of God. As a child, he helped us to understand his earthly beginning. As a son, he helped us to understand his eternal beginning. Being. As a child, this tells us that he was the babe born in Bethlehem, laying in a manger in a trough, wrapped in swaddling the clothes. As a son, this tells us he was, the God, he was the God of glory. He always was and always will be. The Bible said in the book of Philippians, about the second chapter, he thought it not robbery to come down. He didn't even, listen, he, he pulled out his heavenly, his heavenly th things and came down to redeem mankind. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made of himself no reputation and took upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. Being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto the cross. Well, did it get tough on him in the garden? Yes, it did. But he knew his purpose. He knew his purpose. His purpose was to come down and redeem mankind back to God. And he did just that. Somebody said he did that. And God highly exalted him for being obedient. And the scripture on says that he's going to be given, an, that he's given a name, which is above every name. That in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in the heaven and things in the earth. Things under the earth and every tongue shall, should, shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Some might not want to confess it now. But if you leave him without him, you will confess that he's Lord. So it's best to do it now. Somebody said, do it now. That's what he sent his son for. As a child, he was born to live with us. He was our perfect example. Somebody said, our perfect example. He went through everything that we would ever go through, but he yet did not sin. Yet without sin. 
he was tempted in every point. You know, Hebrews fourth chapter. He was tempted in every way, but he did no sin. Neither was God a gift found in his mouth, says the word of God. He bore our sins. The Bible says in, in um, Peter's the, the second chapter, it said, who when he was reviled or came against, fought against, he didn't fight back. Somebody said he didn't fight back. When he suffered, when he was persecuted, he threatened not, but he committed himself to him that judges righteously. Who judges righteously? The God of the whole universe. Who him own self bear our sin in his own body on the tree. That we being dead to our sin shall live unto righteousness by whose stripes we are healed. We have not a high priest. We don't have a high priest. They can't be touched with the feeling of infirmity. But he was all point tempted just as we was, as we are. As a sign he was given to die for us. His whole purpose was to die for mankind. His whole purpose. And you know, those, those priests, those um, leaders, they was a little hot. They thought when he came, he was going to redeem man right then. That was not the purpose. And they thought that when he come, he will come in royalty. That was not the purpose. Because if you come in royalty, because he God, he can do just what he want to. But many times when royalty stepped on the scene, it's all for the rich. But he said, I didn't just come for the rich, but I came for the poor too. <laughs> I came for the poor too. And the scripture said, when we was yet without strength and due time, Christ died for who? He died for us. But God commended his love toward us. And that while we was yet sinners, Christ died for us. He died for us. Amen. John 10 and 17 said, Therefore does my father love me, because I lay down my life that I might take it again. Jesus said, No man take my life from me, but I lay it down of myself. I lay my life down for my friend. Even when we, were, when we weren't his friend. I laid my life down for my friend. He said, No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. Jesus, yes, Jesus was born of an earthly mother, but he was given by a heavenly father. Jesus had the royal blood, the blood of his heavenly father flowing through his veins. He was born. Somebody say he was born. born. If he had not been born, there would be no resurrection. If he had not came, if he had not been born, there would be no resurrection. All I come to church would be in vain. But he got up. Somebody said he did get up. He was born and he got up too. He was born. If he had not been born, there would be no redemption for mankind. We, could be not, we couldn't be put back together. We couldn't be brought back to God. But because he came. All we have to do, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have what? Because he came. Because he was born. He was born. If he had not been born, there would be no savior. But she should bring forth the son. She should bring forth the son, and thou should call his name Jesus. And his purpose was to save the people save us from our sin. Can you see somebody out in the water drowning? They're drowning. And, I mean, they're really drowning. But they need somebody to help them. Jesus was their Savior. He was the life God. He is the life God. They're thrown out there. All we have to do is grab a hold to the life. Draft. Grab a hold to it. And come. He did the work. What we have to do is receive it. If he had not been born. If he had not, he was born. If he had not been born, we wouldn't even have no hope. We will be walking around hopeless people. And there's no reason why we should be hopeless when we got Jesus Christ. Because we got what? The hope of glory. He was born. Jesus fulfilled his purpose, which was to redeem mankind back to God. He was born. Not only was he born, but yes, he was crucified. The death the barrier and the resurrection took place because he was born. God bless you all. So much Grace family for watching the video all the way through. Listen, if this video met you where you were, like, I mean, it turned your house upside down and you want to experience it some more, 
click this playlist right here, I promise you, it's some more that's going to meet you right again. Yes, sir. And then if you really, really love our channel, click right here, man, and subscribe to us. Stay connected with us. Click uh, the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you can stay in tune with us. Stay connected with us. Hashtag Grace, Grace is the place. place. We love you.